Hey everybody, Nasco here from Radiant Life. This is a short, quick debrief for those of you who've missed uh, our breakfast this past Saturday, but also give you heads up about future plans. So, um, just a short video. It's not going to be 10 minutes this time, but um, hey, all of you uh, who are watching this video and missed the breakfast, you better start making up new excuses for why you're going to miss the next breakfast on September 11th. All right? Hey, you're going to know me, and if you don't know me by now, you will get to know me, that <clears throat> I, I do miss the guys that are not showing up to events that we're doing together. Look, I get it. Fishing, life, work, family, sports events, projects, uh, fishing, um, golf, all that. I get it. Life, life gets busy. But one hour a month, one hour a month, that's all we ask from you. So... Uh, you have pretty much a whole month to plan and clear up your schedule for September 11th and show up for breakfast with the rest of the men at Radiant Life. If not, I'm going to start uh, coming after some of you and talk to you about your priorities. Uh, well, I can only do this as much as I have your permission, but um, I, we just miss you guys. So come on. Uh, September 11th, plan for it, okay? Um one thing that I shared on Saturday was from a little piece that I, I came across this a few years ago called uh, Frontier Theology. Um, it has a pretty cool comparison between uh, pioneers and settlers. How do you view life and what's important in life? Pretty much going to make you either into a settler or a pioneer. Um, obviously, the, the author, the writer, uh, he, wrote it, he wrote the piece with a little bit of a slant towards being pioneers. Um, I see a lot of a lot of parallels in the Bible um, that that are, are pretty good fit with that par with those parallels. But and at the same time, um, there are a lot of good benefits for settling down, establishing roots, not not changing churches every six months, people. All that fun jazz. Oh, I'm upset here with something. Let me go find another church because um, uh, somebody just uh, didn't talk to me on Sunday uh, or. I don't like the pastor anymore, uh, or uh, this Bulgarian Nasco keeps on talking to us about being a tribe. I don't like being a tribe. We're we're civilized. Well, whatever. You you guys get it. So settlers, yes, there's good point about it, but a lot of good parallels about always looking ahead, always on the move. God is on the move. If you don't know this from the Bible, um, you'll be up for some big surprises one, once we are past the celebration wedding supper of the Lamb of God in heaven. So um, there's going to be a lot more to do in the new earth and new heaven one day. Anyways, read that piece. I'm posting it below here in my blog post. But um, why is, how is this tying up with what we're doing? It is tying up with us. Constantly going back to the Father, talking to the Lord, and saying, Lord, where do you want me? What do you want me? And um, I'm excited about another thing that we're planning on doing on September 25th, um, two weeks after our breakfast in September. We're going to have a short, small fishing outing. Yes, fishing outing. Um, we're going to go up north off Highway 33. There's a hidden gem of a place. That's managed by the uh, Missouri Conservation Department. <clears throat> they stock these beautiful ponds with fish. It's quiet. It's peaceful. Not a whole lot of people apparently know about it. And Dan Holt um, worked all the details about getting us a permit for it. So 6.30 in the morning, probably until 11.30ish, noon. Uh, we're going to have some simple lunch together. Uh, we're going to set up little competitions. The, the most number of fish caught, the largest, etc., etc. Bring your own tack. Also, br get your own license. And um, we're going to have a very short devotional from Dan with wonderful parallels about fishing in real life and the spiritual aspects of us as uh, fishers of men. So, um, please plan for it. If you're going to skip the breakfast, you better show up for the fishing. Because I'm honestly, I'm not going to take excuses of, well, I can't make the breakfast and I can't make the fishing. Yes, you can. Just get your priorities straight, okay? Anyways, I digress. Um, 
hey, listen, guys, bottom line is I, I miss you. When I don't see some of you at breakfast and I know you could have made it, but you decided to do something else, yes, you decided to do something else. Don't give me that excuse of, well, uh, I had to. No, you don't have to. You always have a choice. Well, depends on circumstances. Yes, if that's something that your wife wants you to do, go for it. But And your kids, well, and your boss. But if Saturday is your day off and you chose to go do something else, oh, my gosh. Hey, bottom line, I missed you, okay? That's all I'm saying. But eventually, I'm going to start pressing some of you a little more as you allow me and give me permission to speak in your life. So, um, check out the piece on my blog post about the Frontier Theology. Um, plan for September 11th, breakfast fishing outing September 25th and also I asked you a question guys and I was serious a month ago I asked you a question if you're sitting by the fire with Jesus at the shores of Galilee you're having breakfast with Jesus and you can talk to him face to face and you ask the Lord Lord what do you want me to do with these with the rest of the men at Radiant Life I want to know that, okay? Why? Because we want to plug you in in meaningful relationships. Well, you got to do this by on your own. But from the church side, from from us as we're living life together, we want to see you involved. We want to see you passionate about what we're doing together. And listen, there is no such a thing as a spiritual and non-spiritual work. Everything we do is spiritual. We are spiritual beings. So even when we do breakfast, guess what? That's also spiritual. Yes, it is. And I can prove it to you. So anyways, um, what I'm trying to say, well, I'm trying to ask you to go back to that same question. Talk to the Lord. Then come talk to Pastor Nick and talk to me or Dan Holt because we, we want to find things that are going to get you off the sidelines Get in the game, get on the boat, let's go fishing spiritually, let's go fishing for <laughs> physically, <laughs> September 25th, let's keep doing life together as men of radiant life. And yes, um, I know some of you are like, eh, I don't know about this idea about being a tribe. Well, tell you what, right now, as I speak, there's a whole lot of tribalism on display full display for the whole world to see in a foreign country on the other side of the world why because that's a tribe that's got so well organized that they took over a whole country just in a matter of days well enough of that but i'm gonna yes you will keep hearing me about what god's calling us to do as a men's tribe at radiant life Okay, and uh, and by the way, super excited of this uh, little project thing that's taking off um, with guys stepping stepping up and stepping out, helping practically with projects. Uh, the project that uh, you guys helped um, a few weeks ago um, for the single mom who needed help cleaning around the house so they can get that house painted. Uh, in a matter of 45 minutes, other guys are getting together to do another project like that. That's that's awesome. That that's what that that's a picture of the body of Christ. We are His feet. We are His hands, stepping out and and showing kindness and loving on people around us. So we can do so much more together. So, anyways, that's all for me. Almost ten minutes again. I know. I'm sorry, but you start showing up for breakfast. I may start making these videos a little shorter. Okay. Take care. God bless. Have a great week. The rest of the week. Um, today is Monday, August 16th. I'm just trying to experiment to see how many of you are going to watch this, how many of you are going to actually go click the link and um, check out the reading on the Frontier Theology. So take care. God bless. Talk to you soon.